Yes, hello and uh, welcome. Today I'm going to show you my own dubbing brush machine and I'm also going to show you how to tie and make a dubbing brush on this machine. This is a machine I made from my materials I had in my basement and uh, it's uh, very simple of making. It two doorknobs, I have the eye screw on it. And I also have, uh, this is connected with the screw that goes through these uh, sideboards. And this uh, dubbing board is made of a board with two cell plastic pieces with uh, holes in it that uh, makes uh, this uh, not go down. <laughs> and also on the top there is a groove that I made with my rotor and uh, you see this uh, poles there is a, it's a kind of round uh, pieces of wood I had for my uh, brush I cut it and this also screwed on from the un underside and uh, as you see this is a simple uh, I think I made it from my old uh, bed uh, materials from old bed uh, it's very simple and I'm very uh, pleased with it it's heavy but uh, why don't uh, use what you have just have to put that aside and uh, show a little about uh, this uh, board this uh, this is the main board like you see it's a uh, made of oak, uh, light oak and uh, I have to tilt the camera a little bit well like I said I have to tilt the camera a little bit so I'm gonna show you this uh, little knob here this is a doorknob with an eye screw screwed in the middle of it in the center and this is connected with, an, uh, with a screw with a hexagon screw uh, and this you see is a screw and on the back side before I screw this together uh, it has uh, I drilled the hole that's uh, just about so I can put the screw to uh, through it on the back side there is a spring feather and uh, I'll try to show you how this uh, will uh, function you see, I can push on the end on the screw there, then uh, you can see it uh, has a... Well, I have to turn this a little bit so you can see more clearly. Here you see what I mean. Here is the screw, very simple. And I uh, threaded this with a little spring feather to make this a uh, little bit flexible. And as you see, you have a... Uh, this is a very big uh, dubbing brush machine, so it's uh, not easy for me to get it all on camera. I don't mind about uh, the uh, um, drilling steer. <laughs> okay. Well, as you see, I have this uh, doorknob here, and I uh, drilled a hole in the middle so I can put the eye screw there, and this is connected, as I said. Uh, to the back side uh, with this screw this uh, and this feather and uh, well I'm gonna tilt the camera a little bit uh, as you see this all is a uh, big plate uh, and the side plates that are the same uh, wood and uh, this is all screwed together and I have on my left side on your left, of course, uh, this is I uh, have to tilt the camera a little bit to to know so sorry to show 
what makes this all go around. Uh, this is uh, the drive shaft of this, uh, if I might say that. Uh, you see, there is a long screw there. Uh, I don't know, don't know what's in English, but uh, it's a long screw. And uh, have uh, this uh, wheel in the middle there. Uh, that's in between these two uh, plates uh, to make this all uh, supported. And as you see, I have uh, this side screw there, and I also have uh, have this wheel that I've uh, used a big hole uh, drill, if I might say, to to carve it all out in a big piece of uh, oak, and I center drill it. And as you will see now on the video, I try to. There is a nut on each side. And some shimmerings, I think that's in English, uh, sorry about that, uh, to make it stay there. Uh, and uh, as you see, we have, uh, this is all got together on the other side uh, with uh, more nubs. As you see, you have, um, have the whole, we, we can... You see the wheel goes around and you have this uh, all there. There is a uh, rest of the screw with uh, another screw that connects it. And uh, the meaning of that is uh, that I have a, sorry I lost that. Uh, this is an ordinary spool that will replace this wooden peg I had in the middle so it, it can uh, make a way for uh, if I want to a sewing machine motor I can uh, use this as a force to drive this all around uh, I don't need to do that but uh, in the late uh, times I have left this uh, because it uh, goes around uh, easy with this uh, wheel on the other side on the I don't have to do that, uh, but there is a possibility. I can also use this to spool up some uh, thread if I want. Uh, you see, I have uh, this uh, thread here, but I can also use uh, an ordinary spool to get it all comes on this. And um, well, you see, there is a lot we can do with the materials you have uh, laying around. I have uh, some uh, pieces here and there, so I just made this whole gum together. And um, well, there is a knob there to make it uh, turn around with uh, just uh, a little hand twist. So uh, I will uh, make uh, try to make a dubbing brush for you. Um, so I have to uh, turn this around and show you how to make a doubling brush. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to make a little dubbing brush. Uh, this is, I uh, have to focus the camera a little bit, but I think that uh, was okay. So, uh, well, well, I'm gonna have this uh, board in the middle. I have to put it on place. I place it in the middle so it don't uh, snags around with the edges there and I take this uh, copper wire it's about 0.2 millimeters so uh, this is uh, I have to uh, attach it to the back hook there uh, wind it around a little bit and use this machine to uh, make it all spin together and I take and uh, wind it all over to the other hook. You use the same thing there. Spin it together like a metal thread. You can see it on the video how I do it. And I put this aside and I take the board, push it up, up to the copper wire like that and it stays there. And I take my flat nose plier 
and I just snip the end off on the first side. I don't want to uh, make some uh, commercials for this uh, firm that made this uh, pliers, but have to make some. Uh, ask them if I can have some money from them. <laughs> And I have to find there. Uh, I'm gonna show you a little uh, dubbing brush I made uh, earlier on the copper materials. Uh, I'm gonna make a uh, fly of those uh, copper brush. Uh, it's called the copper basin. It's a Danish uh, sea trout pattern. Uh, I put all the materials on to the dubbing board and uh, place it all the way and this stubbing brush will make uh, of uh, I can, you can make uh, about five six flies maybe with this stubbing brush so uh, it's very fun to make it's very fun it's not my invention but I uh, it's very funny to to make it with my own machine uh, so I always wanted me a machine but uh, now I got one and uh, and I made it myself and I put on a lot of uh, materials so I'm, I'm happy with it all the way to the end there you see I put on for you guys uh, a lot of things uh, it's easy to make these brushes you don't have uh, put on well maybe I got some uh, I'm satisfied now Oh, a little more, a little more. Yeah, I think a little more. Yes. This is, uh, you can buy uh, this stuff on uh, eBay for a uh, cheap buck. So uh, I got some, uh, I don't know where I got it, but it's, an, it's copper, copperish. So we can use it to make the copper basin. I think it's a kind of a uh, flash you can get. Well, now I take my ski wax, and that's not because I'm gonna go skiing, but I use this as a dubbing wax to put it on to my copper wire to make it all a little sticky, and I make it on top of the other uh, things and uh, the materials. And I wind it around the back hook carefully. Don't use too much tension on this. That's why I have this feather spring uh, based uh, back hook there. So it will, will not uh, snap my wire so easy. And what I'm going to do now, I just uh, push the board down. And you see the materials is staying in between there uh, push it out of the way you see now it's a very critical phase but you see as all materials is staying there because of the ski wax and now i start with the fan you see it's all spins together there's not very much uh, materials that are going out i spin one on my wheel and you see the dubbing burst is on the making it's very fun you see and I have to use my dog brush. I have, where did I put it? Yes, there it is. And I use this dog brush to uh, unleash some of the fibers so it don't be a thick rope. Uh, the, the meaning of this is uh, that the center uh, rope of the center of this uh, dubbing brush is going to be thin. It's going to be uh, wispy materials, but it's not going to be so... You don't want a, a thick base of this uh, dubbing brush. That's what I'm doing there. So I uh, unreached some of the uh, fibers, but I can spin some more just to make it all. You see, it contracts the wire. It contracts when you spin it, and uh, it will be more denser, if you might call it. Uh, it's very, uh, very fun, and uh, you see, spin. It's not take a lot of effort, uh, but uh, copper wire is uh, is uh, it's not so solid as uh, stainless steel wire. But I use copper wire because I'm gonna make this copper basin. is uh, is a 
fly made of copper. You see, there you have uh, another kind of material that uh, thread you can use, uh, stainless steel wire, dubbing brush wire. I'm not sure quite who made this, but uh, maybe it is uh, it is uh, from... Uh, it's not saying any. I use the point zero zero nine for this, uh, if I want to use this stainless steel wire. You see now, the spring is going out. Uh, it's not snapping yet, but... Uh, but I'm uh, starting to get very pleased with it. You see now, uh, it's uh, coming together. Coming together. Well, spin a little more, brush a little more. You see now, it's very nice, very very nice. Um, well, you see, you can uh, here is a fly I made. This is a cover basin. It's made of a uh, double brush wire. This double brush wire, this type. Well, as you see, now I'm gonna show you a little bit. Wait a little bit. I have to uh, get a fly that I have uh, made with another dubbing brush just to show you the versatility of this. I have to take it off from my store. <laughs> I have a lot of flies out there. Well, here you see another dubbing brush I made. And this fly I made from this dubbing brush is a fly calling a nightshade. It's made of a Congo hair. Uh, that come from Fly Tires Dungeon with some uh, angel hair in it. It's uh, kind of grayish. It's, uh, it's also another dumbbell brush on the front there to make the dark head and uh, so put on some eyes. And you see, it uh, looks very good. And uh, it's that flies made with this dubbing brushes. It's Fantastic solid. It don't come apart because of the wire that all uh, hold this together, and uh, it's very easy to make. And you can uh, crank out a lot of flies with a, a short of amount of time when you first have uh, made these dubbing brushes, and uh, possibilities is endless. And I just for the I think this makes uh, up for this brush and uh, well now we're gonna you see all this uh, material that is in uh, on the table there you can save it and put it to bat to bad <laughs> in the in the bag again to make another double brush uh, so it's uh, no materials uh, goes away and to release this I just push on the spring feather side there and take it out from the hooks and here you have it this double brush make uh, about uh, five or six flies maybe an, uh, even more and uh, you have uh, long fibers we can also use the shorter fibers and um, well, I hope you said uh, uh, like this video, uh, just me talking, but uh, it's very fun to make uh, this uh, video together with you and make a doubling brush together with you and show off my new uh, doubling brush machine. So I hope you all uh, like my video and thank you all and subscribe to my channel if you want. Thank you all and tight lines. Bye bye.